Hey guys, I'm out at the field today and wanted to share a little tip. Nothing too earth shattering, but this is my quad lugs frame that Danny from Quad Lugs sent me, as well as the HK pilot board. And if you're not aware of this board, it's similar to APM 2.5 in hardware it does have a internal compass and i've been working on configuring this frame getting everything dialed in but i wanted to share uh, an issue that i'm having both in loiter mode and in rtl mode so i've tuned the apm many many times before this hk pilot is a little bit different seems to be causing me problems so we'll get to the bottom of it but what i'm going to do is take this up and show you what happens in both loiter and rtl mode Let me get out a little bit. So everything flies nicely. I'm actually in stabilized mode, but here you're gonna see I'm going to switch to loiter mode. So now I'm in loiter mode and you can see it fall. So obviously give it some throttle again to compensate. So let me bring it back down a little bit, bring it a little bit closer into the frame. And you know, we have a good 3D GPS fix. I'm gonna go into loiter mode right now. You can just see it wobble. I switch back into stabilized mode. And my tip is just, you, when you're doing this, make sure you have a decent amount of altitude. I'm probably at about, I don't know, 50 to 75 feet. You may even want to go higher. Uh, just be prepared that when you switch into this mode, here I'm going to go into RTL mode. And you can see it just kind of drift away. So not really paying attention. But I'll bring it back. And let me try RTL again, because just earlier I hit RTL and this thing took off like a rocket. Okay, here I go with RTL mode. Yeah, now it's falling. Woo! That was really close to the ground. I was less than a foot off the ground. So I'll continue to keep you guys updated as I get this thing tuned in. I was excited about the HK Pilot because it's such an affordable alternative to the APM. This Quad Lux frame has been a lot of fun to fly. So just remember that, try to keep altitude as you test your flight modes and be ready to toggle out of any mode that you're in back into manual control. I hope that was useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.